hello everyone we are having our second video in the series of PIH pregnancy induced hypertension in this second video we will understand the basic definitions of PIH and related uh, terms now what is PIH basically that is increase in BP blood pressure more than 140 mmHg of systolic and more than 90 mmHg of diastolic remember two figures 140 and 90 on two occasions four hours apart so there are two terms pregnancy induced hypertension and chronic hypertension in pregnancy if you find a hypertension increased BP in pregnancy only two reasons can be there that is PIH or chronic hypertension in pregnancy what is PIH PIH is the is a disease in which the blood pressure before the pregnancy was normal while in chronic hypertension of pregnancy the patient was already hypertensive and now she conceived the pathology of increased BP is lies in the pregnancy that is in PIH but in case of chronic hypertension of pregnancy the pathology behind this hypertension does not lie in the pregnancy okay so the very basic definitions for uh, purpose of definition we take it 20 weeks if the BP increases after 20 weeks during pregnancy before it was normal we term it as a PIH and if the BP was already high before 20 weeks we term it as a chronic hypertension of pregnancy now when the pregnancy ends the BP will come to normal within 12 weeks in case of PIH but if, if the patient is of chronic hypertension in pregnancy the BP doesn't come back to normal even after 12 weeks another term is chronic hypertension with supraimposed preeclampsia in which we have a patient already having hypertension and then she conceived but previously the uh, the hypertension was not bad, was very severe it was mild amount but after conceiving after 20 weeks the patient having uh, dramatically increased the symptoms like increased BP more than 160, 110, sudden onset, new onset of proteinuria and organ and organ diseases. So this is called chronic hypertension with supraimposed preeclampsia. Now, when we uh, when we say PIH, pregnancy induced hypertension, that literally means that the hypertension is because of pregnancy there is something going on in the pathophysiology of the pregnancy that is creating hypertension PIH is the umbrella word under this umbrella we have three different terms that is gestational hypertension Preeclampsia and eclampsia. Now let's see the difference. In gestational hypertension, the only thing is increased in blood pressure. There is no proteinuria and no signs of end organ damage. While in preeclampsia, we have increased BP already but adding proteinuria and signs of end organ damage in mild or severe amount and what is eclampsia everything this gestational hypertension and preeclampsia in which the patient ends with fits that is seizures so that is called eclampsia okay 
when we say proteinuria what we exactly mean we mean 300 mg of proteins in 24 hour urine or 30 mg per deciliter of proteins in urine or dipstick test positive plus one this is proteinuria we count when we say signs of end organ damage that is platelet counts less than 1 lakh creatinine increase 1.1 mg per dl liver enzymes doubles the normal value pulmonary edema with symptoms visual or cerebral symptoms now you see the whole system is getting involved with each and every sign of organ damage if you literally concentrate on this thing i will show you that if we have a platelet counts less than one lakh that means we have problem in the hemo, uh, uh, in the blood system that is cvs cardiovascular system and blood system another thing is we have increased creatine that means we have problem in renal system liver enzymes are increased we have problem in liver system pulmonary edema we have problem in respiratory system visual symptoms like visual symptoms like transient blindness cerebral symptoms like vomiting confusion patient is not aware of time place and person or this will affect the cns so basic systems of the body like blood system renal system liver system respiratory system cns is getting involved with the end organ damage so that is the sign of severe disease so we have divided the preeclampsia into severe and non severe category it's because of with this category we it is helpful to manage to uh, get treatment for that patient Severe preeclampsia when we say we mean that the BP is more than 160 and 110. The signs of end organ damage are present in very good amount that is severe. Non-severe means the BP is more than 140-90 but less than 160-110. And signs of the end organ diseases are very less or even, even only one like that. So these are non-severe preeclampsia. So these are the basic definition or PIH. After that, we will go with the risk factors and pathophysiology of PIH. And in third video, we will go with the management. Thank you.